This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. The internet is filled with videos of dudes getting hit in the junk, cats playing pianos, and tech rumors. And if you can't keep up with them all, this is the show where we take all them for you, condense them, smash them, and serve them up to you so you know what you missed during the week. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about the Nokia EOS, that crazy giant 41 megapixel sensor is finally making its way into a Lumia phone. The long lines and left to itself Mac Pro is finally coming. The HTC One might be getting the little brother. And finally, the BlackBerry A10, BlackBerry's next flagship, supposedly is coming sometime this year. This is Rumor Roundup. I'm John Rettinger. Let's go ahead and start rounding things up. Fresh photos of the Nokia EOS have leaked online showing the rumored device in two more color options. Yay! Giving us finally our first look at the handset's ginormous 41 megapixel pure view camera. You heard me correctly, 41 megapixels. That's a lot of megapixels. The first crop of leaked Nokia EOS images from GSM Arena, and they also claim that a source familiar with Nokia have confirmed that these are genuine engineering samples. The Nokia EOS is expected to feature a 41 megapixel camera with Xenon flash, as well as a 4.5 inch OLED display with 32 gigabytes. That's right, I said giggle of storage. After a promising summer of announcements, the Finnish smartphone makers is expected to unveil the EOS sometime in July. So if cameras are important to you, photo quality is important to you, the pure view camera is the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop of the smartphone world. So hopefully that guy's gonna be coming very soon. So according to video professional Andrew Baird, Apple is planning on introducing, and I quote, something really different to its Mac Pro line. Baird apparently managed to spend some time speaking with Apple's Douglas Brooks, the Mac Pro project manager, and was assured that the lack of updates to the seemingly forgotten desktop will be worth the wait. Baird said he'd like to see, he'd just like to see extra graphics card support and memory expansion among other features. Brooks simply replied that Baird would be very glad he waited to buy a new Mac Pro tower. Who knows, maybe they just put a Haswell in it and they're like, yay, donezo, we updated it, so have fun. It'd be funny if they released it in black. Like that was the one Mac model that finally got the black version of it. I used to love the old black MacBooks. I just thought it'd be funny if they did that and made it available in different colors too. Phoners of the long rumored HTC One Mini, also known as the M4, have leaked online. Uh, seemingly confirming that the upcoming handset is a mid-range version of the HTC One with a 4.3 inch screen. Stonian website, Delphi has posted a series of pictures of the HTC One Mini, including several Compare the smartphone to its great big brother and my favorite phone out right now. The still unconfirmed device is expected to feature two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, a dual core processor, and similar though less powerful ultra pixel camera. The gallery suggests the phone will launch with Sense 4. Boo, instead of Sense 5, although it's a bit of a bummer, but maybe they were just pre-production stuff, testing on it, I'm kind of hoping. There's no set release date or price for the leaked handset, but we expect that the cost is obviously less than HTC One and come in the coming months. BlackBerry A10, the company's next big flagship, is supposedly coming this November. According to sources speaking with CNET, the upcoming BlackBerry A10 will succeed the Z10 and occupy the highest tier, meaning the device will go up against handsets like the Galaxy S4, HTC One, among many, many other Android phones. Sprint is reportedly first in line to receive the handset, but it's highly unlikely the carrier will have exclusive dibs. Right now, so far, a device's actual release, we don't really know much about it or about the A10 specs. We saw a roadmap leak earlier in the year, but no mention of the A10. Something that was on there was the U10, but we don't know if those are the two to the same devices. Sprint allegedly skipped out on the Z10 because it liked how well the A10 was shaping up. Hopefully it'll be a bigger screen. I'm hoping that we'll get some 1080p out of it. Um, that would be pretty sweet. Um, I'm really enjoying BlackBerry 10. I think it's got some crazy quirks, but I think a bigger screen and the 1080p would really help push it to the next gen. What do you guys think? Are you excited about any of this stuff? I want to hear your thoughts on the rumors. Leave your comments in my pants. Let me take a minute from the rumors to thank our friends and sponsors at Gamefly. It is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at just 15 9 to 5 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as they'd like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, send it back and GameFi will send you the next available game on your list. If you like the game you're playing, you can click keep it and the GameFly peeps will send you the game at a discounted price and they'll even mail you the manual and case free of charge. Techno Buffalo fans get a free 15 day trial 
when they go to gamefly.com slash techno buffalo again get a free 15 day trial when you go to gamefly.com slash techno buffalo get trialing thank you guys for watching please give the video a thumbs up we most definitely appreciate it i am john rettinger i'll see you guys next video